Today we review our first book of the month, and it might not be what you're expecting. Not gonna lie. Hey guys, welcome to The Ticker, the show where real estate professionals come to learn how to get ahead in life and business. I am Chase Thompson. I'm Billy Neal. And like we mentioned in the bumper, today is the first day where we review our first book of the month, and it is Jeffrey Gittimer's Little Platinum Book of Cha-Ching. Now we have a bit of a confession to make in reference to this. We were really geared up and excited about this new show, and someone handed us this book. They said it was great and amazing, and so we were like, bam, first book that we're going to do, it's going to be awesome. But it didn't really work out that way so much. We're going to go over some of the nuggets that we pulled out of it that we really did like, some of the things that were great, and then we're going to talk to you a little bit about what we didn't like and the reason why neither one of us actually finished the book. So it was, it was a little bit difficult to read, um, that, that I might say. However, I'm actually going to read a couple of passages that, uh, that I did find that would be helpful moving forward in, in your business and life, as one of them is survival and success are a combination of knowing and doing. Uh, what I liked about this is, and this is principle number five, and what I liked about the principle is that it actually asks some very good questions in, in, in the process. Number one, uh, how many books have you read over the last year? Well, so far this year, I've got cha-ching down for the most part. Chase will tell you exactly why I didn't get it all in. Uh, number two, how many, uh, or number three, how many books have you read um, of creativity and, and thinking uh, of your process from the last year. You know, what, is, what has been thought-provoking during the process from last year? And what have you done to kind of better yourself for 2014 versus what you did in 2013? And one other thing that, that popped up to me is, um, you know, this is principle actually 31. There's quite a few principles in here. Uh, and I'm just trying to get to, to the meat of this. Is uh, uh, you become known for the actions you take, take ethical actions. I mean, everything that, that this is providing, and this isn't something that's new. We understand that we have to make decisions. Uh, what he's trying to say is make sure that you're making good ethical decisions with what you're doing. So don't get me wrong. This book does have some meat to it, uh, and it does have some very good principles to kind of live and follow by. Uh, however, it was a little difficult to read. Yeah, so some of the issues that we had with it was, is number one, Pick a font. Number two, pick a color. Number three, not so much italics and bold. Number four, it was extremely scattered for some ADHD guys. It was all over the place, it seemed. Um, there's a lot of other things. It was a rehashing of a first book that he'd already written, but that's not part of any of the sales copy for the book. So if you've already read one of his earlier books, this is kind of just it plus a couple of other ideas and, and, right. and notes. So that might be a little frustrating. Um, really, though, we kind of vacillated on this show about how to actually bring this content to you. And the best that we can say is, number one, just because you start something like a book or a TV show or a series or a certain marketing preference or something like that, doesn't mean you necessarily have to finish it. Uh, if it's not working for you, if you're not enjoying it, um, if it's not bringing you any betterment in life and business or what have you, you don't have to continue doing it. I don't think you need permission from us, but sometimes people need a reminder. Um, and then also just the fact that we were really excited about reading through an entire book. And then it just didn't happen. So we apologize for that. We will be announcing next month's book. We're looking for uh, still suggestions. We have a few in mind that we'll be going through. But um, yeah, we enjoyed it. There was definitely some good in there, but it took a little bit of work for us to find it. That it did. So if you guys have any suggestions or books maybe that you've read that you would like for us to read, that, that way we can share that information with everybody else that's watching the ticker, we would love your opinions on some books for us to read. I know I've been looking at a couple of John Maxwell's and a few others right now that, uh, that we're looking to bring to the table. But if you have a suggestion for us, you know, please visit the website or email us and uh, let us know what books that you're reading uh, that has benefited your life and your business. Yep. And this, this is your first time here, guys. Be sure to subscribe for free over at thetickershow.com or over on YouTube. And be sure to follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Bye, guys. Thanks. Take care. He's just now reading the book, so don't judge us. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> that is awesome.